people call me a father of the Miata. Lately, now the new one coming out will be a great grandpa. <laughs> Fourth generation. <laughs> Beyond the belief. I mean, I knew this would be success, but never thought of this continuous success for this long. And passion uh, of a people, uh, you know, looking at our cars. I still amaze the smile on their faces when I, you know, meet the cars coming towards you. That's the moment I love most. Well, the first sketch happened is back in 83 for me when I joined Mazda. And then went on for quite a while until the clay model was done um, June, July of that 83. I was called in from, I was at BMW actually. And Bob Hall calls says, we need you for our special project. And that happened to be this uh, lightweight sports car. So when I joined Mazda back in December 83, that's the first project I got onto. Project may have gone before that, but uh, that's when I first started it. What was your inspiration for what you drew? Good question. Well, I really wanted to be basic, simple car. So I went to a point of whole idea is to get your hand out of the car and touch the ground. That was maybe the one of the most important part of it. Um, and again, um, I went to BMW from General Motors Holdings, where every year I have to do a minor change after minor change. And I wanted to learn that one design would last 10 years or more, which is happened to be BMW at that time. So I went to work for BMW to learn what there be the secret to keep the design for that long. And came to Mazda, so like project like Miata, I want make that to be a lasting design. What did you learn from BMW? It's just like um, winemaking, the timeless design to do a car, you cannot just compare against uh, the current competitions or anything. You have to look for what stood the test of time in car designs or other good designs to see the essence of it. And it came down to simplicity, right use of technology for the purpose of the object, and still up to date of the era that the product came in. Um, well, I think engineering is one thing, but uh, mainly understanding the whole philosophy of it, what this car meant to the company or meant to the, the, the customers. This, this is the one I always said, the best measure is when you take a car home for the first night, before you go to bed, if you make people say good night, peek into the garage and say good night, that's a communication we wanted to have with the design. So we're talking about a fourth. If that car does it, it'll be a success. That's my measurement. So were you surprised to find in that first, I don't know how many years, how quickly Mazda owners became the biggest single market Mm -hmm. Well, again, at the initial concept paper, we wrote in the club is very, very important, ta you know, tangible part of the success. Could you say that again? The, the club activity for the Miata was very important from the very onset. I written into the concept paper. In fact, I joined a couple clubs to learn how they run. No, we didn't intention. Well, the company didn't start, but there are few people, few groups initiated to start the club, and Mazda sanctioned 
all these groups together to make them Yacht Club of America. But from the very onset, I wanted to have high quality magazines and events like national, local events. Uh, to this day, England Club is doing great job keeping the magazines and still events all over the place in England. So it's not a typical Japanese product planning in a way, in a way Bob approached it to the Japanese pro product planning community. I approach it more of a software side of it, not the hardware, but how people live with this car. So buy a car, you know, show it to neighbors, have test drive, go back to the garage, say good night, and then next day or two you start finding a, the road that more interesting to drive or take longer to go to work or come home with, but still more fun to drive. And then you find this tunnel that you have to go through to hear the engines or exhaust note, or you know, the wall, the glass wall of the show windows, you have to reflect upon yourself and look at it. You know, all that is never heard of in our hardcore product planning society in Japan for them. So I want to describe, delineate the whole story about ownership. And on the first weekend, you decided to take a car to the road trip. And then you parked it in the hills or mountains or beach or wherever it is, you find a new reflection on the car. So, oh, I didn't see that angle. You know, I really like that lighting. Um, as it goes on and on and on, you're adding those experience to your life. And in fact, I wrote it, I had been asking an engineer, is there any way we can keep the sheet metal for 20 years in a can, like a sardine can, dip it in oil, save it, and 20 years later, I want to release it as a restoration kit. So, that will bring me to my last question. How do you feel, how do you feel about the generation of the mm -hmm. and how it's Of the, the generation part, I wrote the little um, story, how the first to second. So 100 yards away, the second car should recognize as a Miata, but I still don't know either first gen or second generation. 50 yards away, still not quite sure. Then closer it gets, you know it's a second generation. That's the distance between first and second. And then the second to third, 100 yards away, still has to be recognized as a Miata. But this time, 50 yards away, you know it's a third generation. So that's a way to describe the, the distance between one, two, okay, and two, and I, three. What do, what do you think about the success of this car? What I, do you think about the size? I think overall, stay true to what's inside. Never oversell the performance or, you know, always genuine about what it does. Fun to drive, um, you know, cheerful outlook. Um, the basic communication stay the same. Successful now? I think so. Five years later, I think that, that particular element of relationship to the automobile is there. That, that not many car companies really dial into 100% or dial in correctly. We tapped into the relationship of a car and a driver and a life around it. That relationship is there any generations at any time. And I think we just found a way to communicate to that saw with our product on all three generations.